You don't know how to choose between one global model or one model per segment. In this video, I'll show you our strategy so you can reach the best outcomes with minimal effort. Hi there, I'm Carly Fernandez, father of one boy, one dog, and hundreds of machine learning models. And let me tell you a story. One time I arrived to a client and they showed me what we are they building. Basically, it was like a product recommendation for their customer base. And for each type of product, they were training an individual machine learning model, okay? That basically predicted if a customer was or not going to buy uh, that given product. So after two years of intense work, and then they ended up like with 15 models, something like that. All of them producing like inconsistent results with each other, super difficult to maintain because the code base starting to diverge. So it was like a, like a nightmare, okay? So the first thing we did, was actually unifying all of those models into a single one that in the end ended up having better results than all of those. So as bad as this situation may sound to you, it's pretty common, it's one, it's one common trend I have identified in our clients that actually we suffer about that trend ourselves and in AI and plenty of times we see ourselves having to remind us that maybe we don't need to train a new model, maybe the one that we have you know, adding a new population will, will also do the job. For example, let's say like two weeks ago or something like that, we were training a, a model for scoring leads and we had like inbound leads and outbound leads and we had a model for inbound leads and then the client asked for a model for the outbound leads. And then our first thought was, was well, let's train a model for outbound leads because they are kind of different. But in the end, why would we train a different model? Why not? just merging the two populations, mer merging the two um, bases, the two segments, and training a single model for, for the two categories, right? And this has happened also, for example, uh, I guess you have trained models for different markets, like you have to tackle, I don't know, a certain prediction from different countries, and then you have one model per country, or one model per customer or segment, something like that. So it's a very common pattern. Don't feel bad if you are making this mistake. I will go heal basically, because I will show you how to choose between one model and multiple models. Why do people tend to build multiple models for each subsegment of their population? Because we have the tendency to believe that machine learning models are kind of dumb and that we need the, we, they need us to say, you know, this is a segment that behaves in a certain way and this is a segment that behaves in a different way. So we believe that by splitting the population into two segments, the performance will drastically increase. Okay. And Actually, sometimes it's quite the opposite. Okay, why? Because sometimes when we split the population, we end up having less data for each subsegment. Also, because you know, sometimes the two populations have shared features, shared behavioral patterns that actually, when the model can observe the two subs, the two sets, can have like a much more robust representation of what's going on in this problem. Okay, so in general, there is no definite answer on if you should choose one model or multiple models because. You know, sometimes one approach will be better, sometimes one approach, the other one will be the best one. In general, you know, I try to choose uh, one single single model because of this, you know, it avoids diverging the code base. It tends to improve the actual results because of having a larger um, data. When do I choose multiple models? Basically when the patterns show themselves to be too, di too diverse, okay? If you would like this video so far, remember to like and subscribe. But now let's move to basically the AI model life cycle. And I expect that after listening to this, you will, you know, agree with me that it's better to start with one single model instead of start diverging with different subsets. So what is the AI project life cycle? Basically, you always start with a dummy model, right? You start collecting some data, you start training the model, building better features, and it tends to improve, right, over time. And this process takes a few weeks or a few months, depending on the complexity of the data and on the, on the model itself. But remember, this is just a few weeks or a few months. In the end, you will have to maintain this model forever, okay? In the best scenario, this model will produce good results and you will have to maintain it forever. So you don't want to start diverging and having to maintain too many models because the longest time of the model won't be developing. The model will be most of the time in production generating results and you will be you will need to take care of that model and you will be in charge of that model so try to favor simplicity instead of um, instead of diverging instead of um, 
a marginal improvement of results. So what is my recipe for choosing between one model or n models? I start with a simple model, one global model. I don't, I don't split the data unless it's quite necessary. Then I add some features about the context or about the, the segments that I will in general choose to split the model. For example, let's say you will split the model between inbound or outbound. Then I add an additional feature. Is this lead inbound or outbound? So the model can decide itself if it has to split or not. Or for example, let's say that your intuition is let's split this model by country or by mic by market. Add some features about the country, about the size of the country, location, etc. So the model can learn itself if that segment is relevant or not. Then validate the performance. So what is the performance of this single model? Then retrain on the, on the four subsegments, and this is the last step. So you retrain on the subsegments, and if the results are comparable or even mar marginally better, choose one single model. Why? Because what you are gaining on this small gap on performance most likely won't pay, won't pay the pains of having to maintain all of these models and having to, you know, put in production all of these models. So I hope you like this video. Now you know how to choose between one model or multiple models. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.